Hey guys, my name is Jordan Decia. I have been an artist for about eight years now. And today's video is how to make your first $100 as an artist. Now, I know a lot of you guys may be struggling or maybe you're just starting out on drawing or painting, oil, anything, that, any type of medium that you're trying to do and you want to start making a full-time living or you want to start to at least start seeing some type of sales happening. And I hope that I can help you out because I definitely wish I had somebody who showed me the ropes. So today, I hope that I can help you. So first things first, you want to make sure you have consistency. By consistency, I mean you need to have artwork, you need to have products, you need to have things that people can see. If you, people don't see that you're an artist or people don't see your artwork, how will they know that you're an artist? Four or five pieces is definitely sufficient. You want to make sure people can see what they're going to get and what you do. That's the key, okay? So if you're a graphic, a graphite artist or a graphic artist, maybe you do acrylic paintings, people need to see what you do because if they don't know what you do, they're most likely just going to you know, skip over you or they're just going to go to the next person that they think is more professional. So let's say you use your Instagram or your Facebook. You definitely want to start producing pieces that you know relate more to your artwork be more professional and we definitely want to start posting more art content so less pictures of you know random videos or random memes that you find or more pieces of your art you don't want people to you know look at you look at your work or your profile or your instagram and think uh you know i don't really know if i could trust them with my money i don't feel comfortable enough to approach them so you definitely want to make sure you have you build up your Instagram or your Facebook or any type of platform, Twitter, anything anything that you do on your social media, you want to make sure you look presentable to your clients, your potential clients. So whenever I started off, I was already drawing, I was doing a lot of artwork and people come up to me. And the main thing you can take away from my own personal experience is what I did was I made sure I was constantly producing artwork and I was posting on my social media websites. So Facebook, Instagram, and all that. And I was, you know, telling people to share my work because the more that they shared my work, the more people would see my artwork. And if they saw my artwork, maybe potentially I could have clients in the future, maybe not this week or next week, but maybe two or three months down the road. You want to start thinking long term because if you're going to be an artist, you got to start thinking, you know, longevity of your art business. So... You want to make sure you, you're asking for people to share your work. You're asking people to like and comment. And you also got to be engaged with your audience. You don't want to, you know, have them comment, great job or great work. And then you just leave them, you know, uh, on red. You want to make sure you're actually constantly talking to them, asking for advice, telling them, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Can you please share my work? You want to let them know that you constantly appreciate them and for commenting because a lot of people can just look at your work and just scroll on by they don't have to stop but they chose to stop to leave a comment or leave a like so you want to make sure you personally tell every single one of them that you appreciate them and thank you and if, and please if you could share my work that always helps and uh once you start doing that maybe you might start seeing a lot of people in your friends or your family uh say hey you do really great work how much for something like this if they're asking for a portrait and you never done a portrait, you say, okay, hey, um, I'm willing to do some, a portrait for $40 or $20 as long as you can provide materials and all that, or you can pay for this materials and framing and all that. So that's definitely a great way to start. It's pricing your art low, obviously, because this is not going to happen uh, once you start being more known or once you start selling more pieces. But you definitely want to start selling your first piece for about $20 and you ask them if you can pay for your, the cost of uh, expenses. Or you can just say, hey, $30 and I can go buy, you know, your materials that you need for your drawings or your artwork. So obviously you price it low. Once you start, once you do that piece, you want to post it on your social media sites and you want to tag the person who bought your artwork. Once you tag the person, a lot of their friends are going to see that they you know, went to an artist and they purchased artwork. And that's key to uh, building your platform because their, their friends will definitely see that you created something for their friend that they know. And they most likely will 
you know, praise them and say, wow, this is a really great work. Who did it? Now, guess what? Now you have their attention and that's great because now you can build off of that. And you want to definitely ask your friend on Instagram because I know tagging a lot of people won't really see that. But you definitely want to ask, uh, hey, can you give me a shout out on Instagram? Or could you take a picture so that way I could post on my own Instagram uh, that, you know, you're a satisfied customer and you really enjoy my artwork. And they'll most likely agree because, hey, $30, $20, they're going to be like, well, I mean, it's the least I can do. You gave me some really great quality work. And, you know, that definitely builds customer relationship and it definitely builds some type of brand um, stability where people can see like, hey, you know what, this person is really serious and people are buying from him. What you want to do is start posting more of your original artwork. So start doing things that you enjoy or things that people could relate to. So at, at first, a lot of people want to see your talent to begin with to know that, you know, your skill level. So I would start off by drawing celebrities or drawing characters that you like or you really enjoy. Because I feel like at this point, a lot of people can relate more to movie characters or things that they really like. So let's say, um, you know, people really enjoy the Avengers and you want to start drawing Thor. And uh, I mean, that would be pretty big, you know, Thanos, all this, this stuff that's relevant right now. That's the type of stuff that you want to start drawing, things that are hot topics. So if you want to do that, you'll start gaining a little bit more of a following. And that's definitely going to help you long term. Of course, remember how I said that these people may not buy from you immediately. Maybe they might be a potential client six months, seven months down the road. And that's key to your longevity of a business because those people, whether they, whether they buy from you or not, they're going to support you with a like, comment, or a share. And that's also key to being an artist. So you definitely want to be consistent. You want to be posting. You want to be you know, uh, commenting, be active, engage with uh, your audience. And the next thing is, once you start doing your second piece or your third, you definitely want to be uh, charging a little bit more, maybe five, ten dollars a little bit more, right? Because you're going to be upgrading your materials slightly more. And if you do want to make a little bit more money, you want to ask them, hey, for twenty dollars more, I can frame it. And you can get frames at like Hobby Lobby, you know, places where you can use your coupon for 40% off and you can get your frame for $10. And then what you do with that, you already make $10 profit and you get a frame and you seem more professional. So now you made $40, $50. Once you do that, you want to go on and do the, repeat the same steps, be engageful, create things that, you know, are very hot topics, people really enjoy. And you're also asking the same clients, hey, can you shout me out on your Instagram? Something similar to the first piece that you created. You want to make sure that people understand that you're a serious artist and you're constantly making artwork. And once you do that, they'll start snowballing and people will definitely start seeing your artwork amongst their friends, whether they see it one time, two times. If they start seeing it four or five times, they start to recognize you. Rinse, wash, and repeat. You do the same things over and over and over until you start making a market of strangers now these strangers aren't just people who just stumbled upon you randomly these are your friends 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 and that's how it just goes down the ladder where your circle starts becoming bigger and it starts expanding to the point where the people all over your town or your city they start to know you and they start seeing your name a little bit more and for me that's the heck technically how I started and I started expanding basically word of mouth your name starts to appear here and there. They start saying, hey, I had a really great artist who, you know, did a piece for me of my grandmother who passed away. And uh, I think you, you would really, you know, enjoy seeing some of their work. And that's technically the best way to start. Word of mouth is definitely really powerful as a, as a starting factor. Once you do that, two or three pieces down the road, less than six months or so, you'll definitely start seeing some results. And by month two, I guarantee if you follow that steps of being engageful, commenting, share, asking for shares, you know, you join groups, art groups that you see um, on Facebook where you join a community of artists where you get helpful tips or you give advice, things like that. You just basically, you're engaged in the community, the art community, you'll definitely start seeing your first $100 very soon so if you follow these steps you'll definitely start seeing some revenue and hopefully you'll see your first 100 dollars within the first two months so 
definitely keep it up. Give me a like if you enjoyed this video. And if you want me to talk about any other subject, please let me love. Please let me know. <laughs> please let me know in the comments below, and I will definitely see your comment. So, thank you guys for watching. Until next time.